Upon noticing Marion's irritability and confusion, the nursing student immediately notifies the nurse and the nursing instructor. Based on Marion's medical history of diabetes, new irritability and confusion can indicate hypoglycemia, a potentially dangerous condition if not treated promptly. After notifying the nurse, a bedside glucose level is obtained with a result of 58, and the agency's hypoglycemia protocol is implemented. The nursing student provides four ounces of orange juice, equivalent to 15 grams of carbohydrate, and encourages Marion to eat the food on her breakfast tray because she is not having difficulties swallowing at this time. In 15 minutes, the nursing student rechecks Marion's blood sugar, and it is 145. The nurse notifies the provider of the hypoglycemia episode, and new orders are received to decrease her bedtime insulin dosage to prevent additional hypoglycemia episodes from occurring in the future and to continue the administration of insulin aspart based on carb counts, including this meal. The nursing student draws up eight units of insulin aspart and verifies this amount with the nurse and nursing instructor before administering it. Insulin is a high-risk medication that requires verification by a second nurse according to best practices.